Hello, this is Scott of Scott's Computer Repair. Uh, sorry about the kind of noise in the background. I've got fans running in the background. So basically, this is a show you how to do a factory reset Windows 10. And for people who upgraded to 10 and or installed 10 from the disk itself, there is a factory reset on Windows 10 you can use. It's not like a system restore or anything like that. I mean, um, like a basically back to a certain point of day time. Alright, all right. basically when you come up to your login screen and stuff like that, uh, use your mouse or your keyboard to get into it. Alright, you see this right here. Don't log in whatsoever. You don't want to log in. Alright, you want to hold your shift key down, okay, on your keyboard. Alright, then you want to go down to the power button here, down here you see, and you want to click that and you want to click restart not shut down not sleep restart click restart keep on continuing to hold your shift key down so you come up with that menu right there and you let go now you want to go to troubleshoot click troubleshoot uh, anyone does that okay okay you see i did with the troubleshoot now i want to go to reset this pc you want to click that. And you want to go, then you want to click again. What's going to happen here? It's like anything with factory resets that have done in all my videos. Make sure you back up your pictures, your documents, anything that is important to you. I mean, if you can download your right, I recommend that if you can download your music again or moves, I recommend that because it takes up more space. But the more you burn yourself, like your documents and pictures, the stuff you can't replace. Uh, you got to reinstall software, of course, and all that stuff. And it's run your Windows updates and all that. But, alright, okay, let's back to this. That, that's why if you have to do all that to get to this point, you want to click Remove Everything. Let it reboot normal. Okay, when you come up to this, you don't want to do a, you want to click full clean this drive. Again, make sure you have your picture down. If whatever's important, that's I guess it's going to wipe everything out. So, click fully clean the, the, the drive. Then after this comes up, go ahead and, again, I'm just telling you, your files will be gone. Uh, go ahead and click reset. Okay. All right. Again, let this be. Make sure that it's correct. Make sure you select your time zone on the bottom there. 
or your time would be off, of course. Okay. Now, if you're to make sure all this is all correct, um, go. Ahead. It's basically uh, what your home country region, what your preferred language, what your keyboard layout, stuff like that. To make sure that's all correct. Click next after that's done. Okay, go ahead and use the, uh, go ahead and accept the agreement. You get click use, accept settings. Excuse me, excuse me. Click use express settings. Okay, if you have a Microsoft account, or a, go ahead and log in. If if you don't have one, go ahead and create one if you want to. Uh, if you want to skip past a step, other than just make make a local account, just click skip this step down here, and then basically type in your name of your choosing in here. Uh, password is not required. Um, if you want, go ahead and put one in. If not, just go ahead, hit click next. Okay. Okay, so you want to click yes on the network. Okay, basically the installation is done. The the factor reset for Windows 10, as you can see. All right, and then you go down. You want one thing. The first thing you want to check, because of course when you do it, the factory reset, it's like reinstalling from the disk itself. Um, first time you did it. Uh, basically, you want to go down to start. Go to settings. You want to check if you any, all your drives are missing or not. You want to click here on the devices. Go get, scroll down to the bottom and click device manager. Okay, you see right here there's nothing really missing whatsoever. You'll notice it, the difference. You'll notice the missing drivers if it comes up. But this is a good sign. Everything's installed on here. So basically, you got to do after you're done. But if you don't have, if you get anything missing, you can normally get the drivers for these uh, devices that are missing. Uh, you got to figure out what they find. But you can use, you can try running Windows updates. Windows updates might pick them up. They might not. There's another method you have to go about for like you got to check the uh, hardware ID under the properties and stuff like that. And you want to copy and paste basically and Google it. Um, if you have any troubles, I can, you can always Facebook me or message me on YouTube here. I can walk you through as much as possible. Um, I'll, get back, I'll get to you as soon as I can if you guys message me. No problem there. All right. But normally you can get your drivers from the proprietor like HP.com, Dell.com, Toshiba, Sony, of your brand, of your computer. All you gotta do is go to their website. Mostly they have the drivers for that computer to go for a Windows 10. Most of the time they'll say, it, but you can use the Windows 8 drivers or Windows 7 drivers to do it. Sometimes they work. You might have to Google it. Just try to find it. I said I can help you out to find these drivers if need be. Alright, you can go ahead and exit this. It seems good there. Alright, you want to click uh, the back button up here where settings is. Okay. 
Then you want to go over here where you see the update and security window update recovery backup. You want to click that. So you run updates. And you want to go ahead and click check for updates. Make sure there's no updates for it, but normally it's going to be updates. As you can see. All right. This basically, you got to let them install and everything else. These updates are getting done, download and install. And it'll probably normally ask you to restart the computer to finish up the update installation. Go ahead and restart the computer. Repeat the process so you see no more updates. It'll tell you this computer has no current updates. That in which you've got to click the check again. I said repeat this the first step again with this. Okay, so you make sure there's no more updates. Once there's no more updates, you're pretty much finished. All you gotta do is install your heart, like all your printer or any other heart software you like to use again back into the computer. But yeah, that's how you perform a factory reset on Windows 10. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe. And uh, if you got any questions, just don't bother. I mean, you ask me away in the comments below or try to Facebook me, whatever method. Um, anything else. So I appreciate watching my video. As I said, please like and subscribe and you all have a good day. Thank you.